Didn't Carla say she was from Canbalar? Maybe she went back home. I wonder what those two are talking about. You wish to speak with me? You told me earlier you have a booster implanted in your body. Why would you do such a thing? Why? <laughs> if you have to ask, then you'd never understand. But you're still just a young man. How could you throw away your life? <laughs> the answer is simple. I await my opportunity to kill the king. What? That is your reason? Gaius is worthy of the throne. That is undeniable. So I was left with only two options. Resist or submit. You are a strong young man. No, you're just a weak old one. I have given a lot of thought to what you said earlier. It would seem that Gaius is capable of leading his people down the correct path. Are you saying you'll support him? Gaius may be Rashagal's only hope now that it has lost its king. I shall summon Rashagal's finest warriors here before the battle with Exodus. With your permission, of course. A wise decision. Are the others around? It's just us. You still trying to figure out why Zhao saved you? Yes. Mila and Rowan weren't any help. They were like dead guys tell no tales. That's not true! They didn't say it like that! tipo has got a point though. When someone passes away, his secrets die with him. But... I remember something my parents told me once. They said that people who die are reborn as spirits. If that's the case, maybe the dead are always with us. Even now. We just can't see them. And that means we have to protect them. I see. You're right. Why are you standing out in the cold? Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? Maybe you should sit down and rest for a bit. Yes. Maybe this is simply fatigue. I'll take up your offer. Hmm? Feeling any better? Not really, but don't worry about it. Maybe if we just chat for a while, this will pass. Okay, sure. So, uh, what's the outside world like? Olympias. What do you wish to know? Well, stuff like the climate, how the people are, things like that. I don't really know. Huh. Is that strange? No, I just figured you'd know something. But it sounds like it's been some time since you've seen it. Well, I don't think it's a matter of memory. I simply just don't know. Hmm. Oh, don't worry about it. I was just curious, that's all. 
All I know is that Spyrex use is rampant on Olympias. Why would the people there rely on Spyrex instead of just using their manalopes? Using Spyrex is easier. No doubt the temptation was just too strong for them. I have a question for you too, actually. What is it? Do you... Um... Uh, how do I put this? You sure everything is okay? You're acting weird today. The ship is ready for departure. Please return to the castle. I guess we should head back. Ah! Muse, don't scare Jude like that. <laughs> Mila, may I speak with you in private for a moment? You two can catch up. I'll just wait back at the castle. With you? She's spending some time with Muse. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hmm? That was quick. You could say that. The gang's all here. Let's go see Gaius. Hold on, everyone. Gaius and the others are taking this fight very seriously. We must make sure we are fully prepared. Yeah, good point. I haven't fought in a very long time. I guess no one wants some old geezer channeling spirits for them. Listen, Mila. About Ivor. Why are you whispering? Because Ivor can hear a pin drop half a mile away! That's true. When he flew in on that wyvern, he was able to hear everything we said. So what is it? I wouldn't worry you two. It's the wyverns that have great hearing, not Ivor. They navigate by channeling wind spirits to bring them every noise within miles. They probably just told Ivor what they heard. Do you really think so? If your handmaid really had such good ears, don't you think you'd be a little less deaf to subtext? Oh! oh. So, what about Ivor? Huh? Oh, I was just going to ask why he's so deaf to subtext when he has such great ears. Ah. A popular topic, apparently. Giant lumps of metal soaring through the sky. Kinda terrifying, isn't it? You think so? I find the idea fascinating. I'm quite excited myself, riding in a flying ship. It's beyond my wildest dreams. Ugh. Why are boys so into stuff like this? I fail to see the appeal myself. Hey, Muse, do these things ever fall out of the sky? I don't know, but... But what? But I don't really care. If it did, I'd just fly away. Well, that settles that. I'll be holding on to you. I wonder what people eat in Kambalar. They've got to have some sort of local delicacy. Do you think so? It's awfully cold here. All the more reason to eat well. So you think they have something good? Let's go find out, Chipo. Hey, wait up! <laughs> it puts an old man's heart at ease to see them enjoying themselves at a time like this. Just remember this now! What's wrong? Uh-oh. I've seen that look on your face before. It's Master Sonia, isn't it? Before I left, Mom asked me to run an errand for her, but I totally spaced. But that was quite some time ago. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about now. Snap out of it, Leia! We need to come up with a plan! Remember the guy's dumplings they have here? Let's send her some! That's it! 
Hold! We'll distract her with sugar! We'll make it out of this alive yet! Hey! Jude! Leia! Do they understand the situation we're in now? It appeared to be a family matter. It's not our place to interfere. Oh. You've become quite familiar with humans, haven't you? I've seen a lot on my journey. Well, I'm proud of the fact that the great Maxwell is a member of my family. That's right. You and I are family, aren't we? I once thought about what it would be like to have a family. And? It was something I've never felt before. Very different from my duties as Maxwell. Of the feelings I've experienced, the one that comes closest is security. <laughs> Why do you laugh? What am I to you, then? That's a difficult question. I understand the idea of having a family, but I don't think it's the same as what you're feeling. That's not what I asked. Besides, didn't you just say that you were proud to have me as family? Oh, is that what I said? Unbelievable. I'm beginning to doubt that you truly came here in response to my summons. All I can say is that there is nothing more important to me than fulfilling Maxwell's orders. Hey, sorry about that! We kind of got carried away. Don't worry about it. Huh? They seem surprised by that. The most important thing to a spirit is the purpose of its existence, its duty. I believe the same is true for humans, but sometimes for humans. There are things that win out over duty. Over duty? Then again, perhaps it's just another kind of duty. The duty to survive. I see. I didn't really understand any of that. But I'm pleased that you were able to convince yourself. Carla, what are you doing here? Didn't I tell you? I haven't gone back home for quite some time. Hey, Jude, do you have a moment? I'm going to start teaching again soon. Maybe you could help me practice? Sure, I'd be happy to. Wonderful. Okay, take a seat. <clears throat> All right, class, let's begin our lesson. Today, we're going to talk about the history of Canbalar. Last time, we covered Gaius's role in the Battle of Fezabel. Huh? Just go with it. <laughs> okay. Gaius, disenchanted by the inability of the great clans to guide their troops, formed a group called Taurus. It was to be an assembly based purely on merit, unfettered by outdated clan traditions. He believed that those strong in mind and body should be the ones to lead the country. Nothing like it had ever been attempted before. So it didn't matter what your tribe or position was, only that you were strong. Correct. And Gaius was determined to remake Ajul as a country that no longer sacrificed its weakest citizens. It was after Taurus was formed that he took to calling himself Gaius. Wait, so it's not actually his real name? Correct. Gaius is actually an ancient word that means he who pulls the world behind him. So then what's his real name? Are you sure you want to know that? Huh? Is there some reason I shouldn't? King Gaius hides his real name in order to keep his family out of danger. If you want to know it, you need to be prepared for the consequences. Wait, that doesn't sound right. After all, you seem to know his real name. If it was that big of a deal, wouldn't you be in danger yourself? I'm a special case. Uh-huh. 
Let's just continue the lesson. Very well. After Taurus was formed, King Gaius rallied its members against several of the larger tribes. Fifteen years ago, he vanquished the young but brilliant strategist who led the Longdao tribe and forced him to submit to his leadership. A brilliant Longdao strategist? Wait, you don't mean... Yes, it was none other than Wingull who would come to be known as the Ebon Wing of Longdao. With Wingull at his service, Gaius seized control of Kanbalar five years later. That was when he declared himself to be king of all the Ajul United Territories. This is what would later become known as the Dawn of Ajul, which originally came from the tribes referring to Gaius as the Dawn King. He was only 22 years old at the time. That's not much older than I am. I can't believe he actually united Ajul at that age. Yes, it's impressive. He must be a very strong man. But don't his friends and family miss him? Hmm? Gaius may be so strong that it doesn't bother him, but surely the rest of his family misses him. Possibly. But I'm sure they understand he has a great burden that takes precedence over everything else. Gaius belongs to the people now, not his family. I guess. And after all, it's thanks to him that Ajul is now a much nicer place to live. And with that, I must be going. Can't keep my students waiting, you know. Thanks for helping me practice. Oh, sure. Good luck with your classes. Thank you. My stomach seems to be empty again. When do we eat? Again with this one. Good performance, but terrible fuel efficiency. Oh. 
Relay this to all troops. We believe the enemy base to be an enormous structure. All soldiers should review their indoor combat procedures. Yes, sir. I anticipate difficulty getting the word to everyone. Call in all of the relay team reserves. Yes, sir. I see you're keeping busy. Of course. 99% of a battle is won before it starts. So at this point, the fighting is just a formality. I leave nothing to chance. That's why I haven't accounted for your group at all. All I expect from you is a distraction. Should you die in the process, my plans will not be disrupted. What? Fair enough. Was that true for Zhao too? Did his death not disrupt your plans? It was not, and it did. Zhao's strength was a trusted resource, not a destabilizing factor like your own. He was a man who not only bested me, but even challenged Gaius one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, were you two friends? Friends? Ah, this must be how a child sees the world. It doesn't matter what we were. What matters now is that our military strength doesn't waver from his loss. You certainly don't make your emotions easy to read. You'd be wise not to waste your energy trying. The time of battle is at hand. Rest while you still can. <laughs> <laughs>